Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Happy end of April because I cannot even believe that we are pretty much at the last few days of April. So it is pretty much end of month at the time I am filming this, but I don't know at what point this week I am going to post it. So we may have already rolled over into May. Um, I'm not quite sure yet, but um, it just blows my mind. We are practically into summer. Who knew? I feel like I was just taking down my Christmas tree, but it is what it is. Life is very, very fast paced in the world we live and you blink and all of a sudden it is the next month. So that is why you do have to enjoy your life that you have been given. Just enjoy every moment. And uh, I tell you what, I've been enjoying with some makeup products. So I've got some favorites to share with you that I really, really enjoyed for the month of April. And uh, maybe it's some things that you stumbled across as well. Maybe it's something that interests you that you haven't tried yet. But if you're interested in seeing what I loved for this month, then just keep on watching. First and foremost, this is nothing to do with beauty, um, but this is a favorite of mine day after day, month after month, or week after week, month after month, and it is the Perrier Sparkling Water. I love that they have different flavors and it just satisfies my craving for like a soda, um, just for that carbonation. And this particular one is in the strawberry. It is my favorite. They also have peach, which is a close runner up for me. The watermelon is kind of eh, but these are constantly a favorite. I have it up here because as soon as I'm done filming this video, I am going to drink that Perrier <laughs> and have some leftover pizza. Just throwing that out there. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I feel like I don't have as much this month as I've had the uh, past couple of months. I feel like this, um, the month of April didn't have as many makeup releases. I am totally okay with that because as y'all know, Right now we've got the Sephora VIB sale going on and less releases means less spending for me and I've been trying to be good and kind of save my money for those things I really want and it helped for the sale because it helped me to be able to get more I want there. But total side note, let's go ahead and start with a product that I have had for probably a good couple of years now. Now the thing about this product is I use it sparingly because it's quite expensive uh, but when I start using it I'm like I forget how much I love this I want to just keep using it. And the other day I pulled it back out, used it after I showered. It's the um, L'Occitane, uh, let's see, it's, mm, let me see. I'm looking for the English version. Smoothing and Beautifying Supple Skin Oil. This has a specific name, but anyways, it is the almond oil, basically body spray, body oil spray. Um, it already comes with the nozzle and it's pricey, but guys, this is so worth it. There are days where I will use this in place of my lotion. I've told you I am like using lotion as soon as I get out of the shower is a ritual. I, I lather up my body and my feet with lotion. It's like I can't relax if I don't. And this I have saved to be using once or twice a week in place of my lotion. It smells so delicious and it makes my skin feel so, so good. I forgot I even had it. Like I said, at the um, the other day I was rummaging through my, the other day, it's been like three weeks, I was rummaging through my bathroom closet and I was like, I forgot I had you, I need to use you up. You were quite expensive and I'm like, now I remember why I didn't want to use you up. But this is so amazing that once I am done, I will repurchase another one. It is amazing. It's so good. I can't even tell you how much I love it. It's very luxurious. The next product is along the lines of body. And it, what's weird is I had forgotten I had this too. And the tub is like three fourths of the way full. This is something I had purchased off of QVC. And I'm actually looking back, they had also a different um, scent slash tone. And I'm bummed that I didn't pick that one up. This is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. You guys know I use, I love the body butter for my face. However, this is the, well, it's the Illuminizing Body Butter. This particular one is in the shade Light Bronze. It's Vanilla Peach Infused. And this is one of those things, and it, so I was reminded about this because Huda Beauty is about to release not, what is it called? Not Your Mother's Pantyhose. And it's kind of like that Sally Hansen thing where you put on your legs and it kind of gives the illusion of like, blurred effect pantyhose real pretty but it's not and so I forgot that I had this and this kind of does the same thing now we'll say this is a little bit on the stickier side but I love it and I pulled it back out look how full it is and honestly 
Guys, I've had it for a couple of years now. I bought it summer before last. That is how, like, I have forgotten that I even had it. So I pulled this back out, started using it, and I was like, oh my gosh, all of these body illuminizers keep on coming out, and I forgot I had this little treasure in my uh, bathroom closet. So I have been using the heck out of this. Now, granted, here in South Texas, it's getting hot. It has not gotten hot to where I want to wear it, like, um, short sleeves. Actually, today's probably the first day that we're like mid 80s. It is a beautiful day. Um, but for wearing, once I start wearing shorts and wearing those short sleeves, I will wear this a little bit more regularly. This has been, I wear a lot of dresses. Um, this actually is a dress as well. And so I love using this on my legs. As soon as summer starts, I'm going to get back to using it up here on my shoulder blades. This is so good. And if you can get your hands on this, like I said, I purchased mine through QVC. It's a honking tub of it. And I think it was probably like, I don't know, $40, $45. It is so worth it. Ugh. I, I mean, what's better than coming across some things that you absolutely love that you didn't even have to spend for within the month? You just forgot you had them. I think that's pretty nice. <laughs> the next thing has been such a lifesaver for my hair, you guys. I can't even, I had gotten to wear, so for the past couple of years, I have a Hello Kitty wide tooth comb that I had gotten at Sephora a good two, three years ago. And that's what I use when I get out of the shower on my wet hair because I'm not looking to tear or like break my hair. And using a brush can do that if you're not careful on wet hair. So I've been using a comb, but obviously a comb doesn't really give your scalp the massage and like just the, the scratching that you need. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. So I had actually seen this advertised and I forgot about it, looked it back up and I was like, I think I need to buy that. So this particular brand is called Tangle Teaser. This is the Hello Kitty version because you know, I mean, if it's pink and cute and uh, hello, Hello Kitty, yes, please. <laughs> This thing, you guys, I can't even tell you, my hair has been, my hair and scalp, I feel have been so thankful that I have been using this. I have used this for probably the um, second half of the month of April, so I did not use it the full month. I've used it probably the last two weeks, and as soon as I run this through my hair and, like, my scalp feels like that, not a massage, but feels that, you know, you're going through your hair with it, it just kind of helps... I don't know, um, invigorates your scalp, or whatever, I don't know, I just feel like I'm sounding like a commercial... This thing is so good, you guys. I think I paid like $12 for it. But this is what, I hope you can see what it looks like. So these little bristles are plastic. They're teeth, I guess. And they're very, it's a very lightweight, thin plastic. It's not like it's thick or anything. And I'm assuming it's like that so it doesn't break your hair. It is made to be used on both wet or dry hair. And I'm just going to tell you, I have had no issues when I go through. Like, I can even be a little more vigorous and not have to worry about breaking my hair with this. It's so good uh, that I'm just bummed that I didn't get it sooner. It also comes with a little cap, which is amazing because it helps keep it cleaner, but it still allows it to dry. Um, and if you're traveling, then your little teeth aren't going to get all mangled. See how there's like a little hole? This little stick thingy fits right up in there and it just clamps down and you are ready to go. This was a lifesaver for me. I can't even tell you. My hair and my scalp truly have felt a difference. I see a difference in the health of my hair, and that's probably because my, my scalp wasn't getting the right, you know, I don't know, invigoration that it needed. Love, love, love. You can get this at Sephora. Like I said, I think I paid $12 for mine. Next up has been a game changer for me. So you guys know that I love the Laneige Lip Overnight Mask. And if you remember my Sephora VIB sale recommendations, then you'll know that this was gonna be in my favorites. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. So these have been all over everybody's videos, all over the internet, because basically what this is, it is a slightly lighter version of the Lip Overnight Balm in a tube and slightly glossier. So. I mean, if you are used to the moisture that is the overnight sleeping mask, then you will know already without even having to try it that this is going to be good. And it is. I got mine in the pear scent. I love it. Now, I have not smelled the peach or the grapefruit. I really do want one or the other. However, um, not sure which, and I kind of want to pick one up with the sale now. But I also need to reel myself back in whenever, like, making those types of... Um, purchasing decisions, I guess, because I end up stocking up and then I'm like, okay, I have all these. I could have waited a few months, saved myself the money then, purchased it when I really needed it. Anyways, 
These are amazing. The little tip applicator is super cute. It's like a little clear one. It looks like jelly. Um, I can't even tell you if I put this on. So I still use my Clarins um, Instant Comfort Lip lip oil in the mornings that's my tried and true probably gonna be my tried and true forever if i use that in the morning right after i brush my teeth it kind of helps you know soften my lips but then what i'll do is before i put on like a lip liquid lipstick i will put this on and no joke this kind of it's weird it, how this helps keep my lips moisturized for several hours it's a little bizarre even after the lipstick is kind of worn down so this you guys it's 15 dollars, and i could not be happier this is one of to me for the price and the quality that this is you can't make a better purchase than this next up are a couple of items that i got during the ulta 21 days of beauty sale that have just really one of these has really blown my mind it's the persona cosmetics cali glow highlighter in zuma this thing, you guys, is beyond amazing. As I was putting it in this basket for this month's favorites, I remembered when I got it last month, um, I remember, I think I got it towards the end of the month, and I don't recall including it in my favorites then. However, I may have, I don't, I don't remember. I like to give something like a good bit of time of really using before I dump it in a favorites because you could really like something at first and then not like it down the road but anyways this has continued to be like it has been blowing my mind that it's that good you guys know i love a very amped up disco style highlight i love to glow blocks away i want you to see me from the parking lot if i'm inside the mall that is so dramatic but anyways i do love a very bold highlight and this has been ridiculous and I'm thinking how did I get this for $12 how is such a good highlight this inexpensive it is amazing and I am a light to light medium skin tone and this suits me perfectly so if you are my skin tone then it should fit you very well also so it's very very blinding it's perfect it's kind of like that shade between a champagne color and a gold color it's not overly gold you guys know I'm not real big on those overly gold highlights actually have one that's a little bit gold golder than I would like it's one of the new Anastasia loose highlighters I love how the highlighter looks as far as being super shiny and metallic but the shade on me is a little bit on the deep side so I tip I tend to go for like the more champagne shades and that is a uh, I love it. <laughs> the next one. So I am huge, huge on the Fenty Pro Filter eye primer. Huge. And it has been my go-to eye primer for, I don't know, well, ever since it released. So maybe almost a year now. So you can imagine how much it hurt my heart to be running out of the product. However, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty came at just the right time because they put the Urban Decay Primer Potions on sale for the half off. So I ended up getting two. I got the original and I got Eden. And I thought, well, I will get two and I'll try them out. I'll use them up and I'll see if I remember, you know, because I, I remember not really being super crazy about them anymore. And that's why I discontinued using them. But I thought, okay, let me go back, try them out. And if they are also a bust, I'll just come back to my Fenty Pro Filter um, Eye Primer, which I am going to do eventually anyways but but for the time being let me try these out at $12 it's kind of like mm, I kind of have to so this is in the shade Eden and I'm just gonna say that this has been doing I don't know if it's my expectations were low or what I, I just don't know this has been so good <laughs> at making my eyeshadow pop and just bringing out really rich pigmentation now you're probably asking well you said the same thing about the pro the Fenty Pro Filter. There is something special about that one that I, that has just, I don't think anything will top that for me, but I, I'm going to say this probably at this moment would run a close second and I've been using it for a little bit now. I've had it for the month of April um, and I'm just, I don't know, something about this. Now I will say I'm not crazy about this little applicator. I, I don't know, something about the wand. I'm just not, mm, I don't like it. I like the Fenty wand better. <laughs> But this is the one that is a little bit more matte and it's kind of like a soft ochre paint pot type of shade. Maybe a little less yellow, um, but I don't know. Something about it has really been bringing out the richness in eyeshadows I have been using. I'm just going to say, and I'm very, very happy to say that I have been loving it. Okay, next up is a um, 
highlighter that I also placed in my Sephora VIB recommendations. So again, you may already be anticipating this. I did not expect to love this as much as I did. I placed the order when it came back in stock and I thought, um, okay, this is gonna be, a, there's a 50-50 chance I'm gonna like this, especially because of the reviews. People were saying this is the perfect subtle highlight. This is what just what I would want to give me that lip from within glow. And I'm like, mm, yeah, I want a disco highlight. So I don't think that's gonna work for me. But then I thought this keeps on getting five stars. It keeps on selling out. What if I'm gonna miss out on the next best highlighter of my life? And then it's gonna go out of stock. It's limited edition and that's gonna be that. So I can't really say that like I'm a huge Roger Rabbit or like a Jessica Rabbit fan. Um, I just, mm, you know, I, I really don't remember much about the movie, but I do love this packaging. You guys know, I love special packaging on makeup products. I think it kind of sets it apart. It's a little out of the norm and this is no exception. You've already seen this, it's super cute. The inside, the highlight is truly unique. And people had been saying that on the reviews and I'm like, yeah, yeah, come on now. <laughs> There's really not much unique anymore these days just because it's all been done. This is just so pretty. And you've seen this before. Her uh, face is on the pan of product. But there's something about this. There is a certain shift that I really do think it's unique. I think people were right. So it's kind of like a gold slash peach shift, I guess. I don't know. It does have a shift that is quite pretty. Um, and I really, really, every time I use it, I'm like, I'm just so impressed with this. And I have really put it to good use for the month of April. Let me open it back up because I just kind of want to show you. So I have been working my way through her hair so that I try not to disrupt her face. Eventually it's going to happen. But I'm working my way through her hair and I love it. I did notice it is still in stock on the Sephora website. So, you know, uh, if in case you're interested. So next up, I just have a couple more things. Um, I have got... So... I loved the Disney Villains collection by ColourPop. I loved it more than the Princess collection. And when I say more, like a lot more than the Princess collection, there was just so much that stood out, so much that really performed even, even better than I had anticipated. One of them being the Jelly Much product. I had not tried the Jelly Much eyeshadow lineup from ColourPop. And so I had already placed my order. And then the more as I was seeing people use these on YouTube, I was like, those actually look really pretty. And for $8, I think I could buy two or three, the ones I really want. And, you know, it's not like an $18 eyeshadow. So, yeah, it was a really good purchase because these are some of my favorite single shadows. You guys know I don't go buy a whole lot of singles anymore because they kind of get neglected. I just, I reach for palettes so much more. But something about these, I don't know, they really are a jelly consistency and it's my hope that they take a long time to dry up. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know. Um, but they are so pretty. I, this particular one is in the shade Spindle. I picked up Just Your Voice, which is Ursula. This one's Maleficent. And then I picked up Perfectly Wretched, which is Cruella. And all three of them have just been everything that I was hoping for, everything that I was seeing on YouTube. They really are great individual shadows. I'm, I really am shocked, uh, that it could be this good. And it's getting all over the place so I'm trying to close the little lid here. But anyways, so this is what Spindle looks like. It is a purple, but it's got like a gold shift that is really, really beautiful. And when I wear it on my lids, the crazy thing is it dries down pretty quickly and it stays on all day. And typically this kind of formula, or at least in my mind, I'm like, well, this kind of formula is going to dry down, but it's also probably going to get flaky and nasty. And quite the contrary. It has done nothing like that. It lasts all day. It looks very rich, very pigmented. Super impressed with this. All right, I've got two eyeshadow palettes. One is along the same collection and it is the Villains ColourPop eyeshadow palette. So I did not anticipate to like this as much as I did because I had already seen the pictures of the shades and I'm like, I am not huge into jewel toned shadows. Like Urban Decay has done it in the past, back when they did their book of shadows. Urban Decay is known for their jewel toed shadows. And I just, I've kind of gotten away from like the deep, um, the deep turquoise shades, the deep purple shades, like the deep blue, you know, those kinds of dark type of jewel tone shades. 
And so I honestly had the same expectation of this. I'm like, okay, it's going to be one that I'm still going to get because of the Disney geek that I am, but I don't see myself grabbing for it a whole lot. Oh, well, I was wrong, you know. I'm, I'm totally happy being wrong if it means the makeup is amazing. These are so pigmented. It blew my mind the first time I used it, and then I did a get ready with me, and then I, I've used it a few times more since then, and I'm like, how is this this good? I just don't understand. It really is amazing, and it's in line with what I know ColourPop shadows to be. Very pigmented, very rich, easy to use, easy to blend, and uh, it blows my mind that, again, I say this every time, that it's the price that it is, because how can quality be this inexpensive? Especially when we go pay a ton of money for a good eyeshadow palette. I don't know. Last but not least, this is a palette I purchased at... Ulta. It is by Tarte, and you probably already know what it is. It is the Adeline Morin, um, or Adeline Morin eyeshadow palette. So prior to this palette, I did not know who she was. Um, as soon as I posted my first impressions, I went and I watched a few of her videos, and I'm like, yeah, this girl's really infectious. Like, she's just super bubbly, upbeat, and I liked her very, very much. So it kind of made me like the palette even more, but no joke, the highlighter in this is ridiculous. I love it so, so much. It's called Promise Ring, and it's stunning. Stunning. Now, this is not the only reason I love this palette, but let me first give you the swatch to this highlight because it is beautiful. It's very reflective, it's very pigmented, and I have been using it pretty nonstop. As far as the eyeshadow shades, they're so good. Like these orangey, earthy tones. You guys know I'm not huge on being like a neutral type of girl. Um, I like neutrals, but I also like bolds and neons and super brights. Um, but I do love me a good, like, orangey, dirt, earthy tone. I don't know. Something about it. Um, this has orange. This has yellow. This Boss Lady shade is probably my favorite in the whole palette. It is amazing. It's pigmented. It's soft, and it is so easy to work with. There's something about this palette that really is special. So that's that one right there. And this thing was $39. So um, granted, $39 can be a lot to pay for something if you're not crazy about it. But if it's something that you love, then I think $39 is actually quite reasonable for a high-end makeup product. There are, uh, let's see, three um, like metallic shimmer type of shades. And then the rest are matte. And then you've got the blush and the highlight, which I've already told you the highlight I am over the moon for. I really, really enjoy this palette. And the packaging, there's something about this packaging that is just special. I, I, from what I understand, she is obsessed with the color yellow. And there's something about yellow that is so uplifting. It's so cheerful. And the pink and the yellow, oh, this palette is just such an amazing find. Um, I didn't even know it was launching till like the day before and I thought, you know what, I missed out on the Aspen Ovard palette. I'm going to pick this one up and we'll see. Again, might be 50-50 chance that I like it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. So that was such a pleasant surprise for me to end up liking it that much when it was something I really wasn't anticipating like, okay, next month this palette's coming out that I really want to get. So loved it. All right, guys, that is it. That brings us to the end of my favorites for the month of April. I feel like there was a lot, even though there wasn't a lot. I'm so sorry if I talked the heck out of each one of those products, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found something that maybe interests you. Maybe you've kind of been in the market for and you're like, that is what I need. Or if you have been using any one of those products, let me know in the comments below how you've been liking it because I love being able to talk makeup with other people who love makeup and especially are like using the same products and sometimes Sometimes, you know, it's one of those things where you both love the same product and sometimes it's one of those things where it's like, I hated it, but I loved it. And it's kind of, you know, makeup for different people. Before I let you go, I want to give you the verse of the day. Today's comes from Romans 15, 13. And it says, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you remember when you come to my channel that Jesus loves you more than you could ever imagine. If you are in a place of sadness, despair, hopelessness, or if you're just wanting some encouragement, remember Jesus loves you and is just 
a prayer away. If you are needing someone to talk to, he's just a prayer away. Thank you so much again for watching, for visiting my channel. If you are new, I'd love to have you as part of this YouTube family. I'd love to see you again. Um, so I hope you'll consider subscribing and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And I will see you guys in the very next video. Bye everyone. Take care and have a great day.